And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Ezreal Elise, the first of two Elise ranked decks today. We have two unique Elise decks. Uh, this one we're going to be uh, playing is from um, a user named F. Dapos who said that they played this exact list in the seasonal tournament uh, this past weekend and uh, went six and three in the seasonal tournament with this list. So um yeah it looks it looks pretty sweet what i like about it is that it's low to the ground we got a low curve we don't have um all these expensive five six seven eight nine mana cards that are taking up uh spots in our deck very low to the ground um you know 60 percent of our deck costing one or two mana and the other 40 percent costing three or four basically the only thing at four is going to be this catalog of regrets i think this may be my first time playing this landmark surprisingly enough so it's going to be you know, round start, create in hand a fleeting copy of a non-fleeting spell you cast the last round. So if we're getting a, a fleeting spell every single round, then we want to have a very low curve because we want to be able to play that fleeting spell. Plus, we want to play other stuff that we would normally be playing all the time. And so that's what we have. We have a low curve with a lot of very good cheap spells, including Go Hard. And of course, Go Hard is a perfect one to be able to make additional copies of um, to, so we can get closer to the pack your bags. The only thing looking at this, so I also like like this Burgeoning Sentinel and Buru Sentinel. I think these, these cards are underrated still. I think they're very, very good um, for you know what they do, like how this is, you know, it's very easy to slay a unit with a spell, and so now this turns into a three mana five four or a one mana three three, both with Fearsome. Uh, Fearsome's a pretty good keyword these days with so many, like, uh, tutus running around in uh, Bandle City. So I like that. And this deck has a lot of reach because, of course, uh, once you target your enemy six plus times, you have your Ezreal that's leveled up. That Each time you cast a spell, you're dealing damage to the enemy Nexus. We have Aftershock, Get Excited, Doom Beast that drains, Unspeakable Horror, Mystic Shot, all of those things that do damage to the enemy Nexus. And then, of course, we can also make these Hexite Crystals with the Fallen Feline. Uh, so we're going to really be able to drain the Nexus also to pair with that Fearsome. The only thing, though, is is the Doom Beast slot. I, I kind of would like to see um, Station Archivist over the Doom Beast, where, you know, we can uh, kind of dig a little bit more for, like, more Gohards um, and things like that. I, I think I would rather have the Station Archivist, but I want to play the exact list that, that uh, F. Dapos played in the Seasonal Tournament. But that's like the one thing that I could see. We'll we'll see how the, let's let's see how uh, Doom Beast performs. All right, let's go. Let's get to it. We're playing five games in ranked. It's ranked day. At least ranked with our two Elise decks today. Because uh, the other donation deck that I have with Catalog is also going to be Go Hard. It will have Station Archivist, so we'll be able to see that. And it has its Ezreal with uh, Kindred instead of Elise. I don't know. I mean, we got our catalog, which is probably really important. We have this Burging Sentinel, which I love on round one. Now, I don't have, like, uh, you know, I, I don't have either champion, which at least we don't really, or sorry, uh, Ezreal, we don't really care about having early. At least it's nice to have early. We don't have Go Hard. Like, maybe I'm supposed to, like, throw these back and look for Go Hard more. Um, but I'm perfectly happy with both of these cards. I don't have, like, the the one mana cat to put some hexite crystals in the deck. I pull the strings. Alright, well now we have Elise. I like the the fearsome symbol too. The little spooky face. Oh, they got my spider. No. Not the spider. So they got a lot of cards over there. That's that's what they've been doing. They've just been spinning their wheels, drawing cards. And now what's the plan? Now now that you've done that, we're looking fearsome. Unfortunately, I don't have a Vile Feast. I could I could cast this looking for Vile Feast. I kind of want to do that because then then that just kills like the five four. 
Sure. Vile Feast. No Vile Feast. We do have some Ezreals. New Battle Academia Ezreal. First time playing it. I'll just get Vile Feast. Oh, that's too bad. get the fallen feline and get the hexite crystal going also maybe i was supposed to just discard that to the get excited let's see so what's my play so i play feline and buru yeah maybe like this round i play like feline and buru you want to see a least deck with von yip or reaver's row i've definitely done it at least with von yip before I don't think I have with Reavers, bro. Huh. <laughs> like how he says that. Uh... The crystal! If it was important, they should have built it with. Rude. Not a very good draw. So not a very good round for us ever since I played that first time trick. It has not gone too successfully for me. I think I just take the pass, I guess. But, like, what am I really doing? So they're at 15. I don't think they have any Nexus healing. We're looking at 8 burn right now. I guess with Doom Beast 10, we have 10 burn right now. We only have one thing that can block Fearsome right now. I, don't, I just don't love any of my options. I, I kind of wish this was Station Archivist. I could just play it and find a new spell, but... I don't know. I guess I'm draining with that. It's gonna be really tough if they have the eight mana card that has like life steal and stuff. Next round, I was like you know, life steal, spell shield, all that kind of thing, all that kind of stuff. That could be difficult. What's up, Hayden? Only have one out of six for Ezreal. I'm going to get him. Not been a fan of these desert naturalists. Haven't I been here before? Kahar's just not good until we get to pack your bags like pack your bags is good but the first couple go hearts are just not good does that mean i take it or this first couple are just not uh, i guess it's yeah i could because i could also skip i probably wasn't going to take the doom beast but then again doom beast would put them down to 11 and then we'd have Decent amount of damage there. So this, this thing's gonna be a six-five here, some. I know what lurks in the shadows. Yeah, why not?
All right, let's attack with some fearsome. Oh, where are you at? Three out of six. I don't want to get. I don't want things get stunned. I'm sorry, Ez. I'd like to attack with you, Ez, but I don't want stuff to get stunned. I suppose you'll do. Destroying my catalog of regrets was pretty mean. Okay, no. Good, no life steal. At least not yet. Does have overwhelm. It's not really any reason to play Ezreal. This they call me the awesome. so three. Because, you know, it's possible I have to discard Ezreal to get excited, right? Three, six, eight, nine. Right now we're. Sitting at nine. Oh, I'm going to get it. I hope we make a Doom Beast. This thing's elusive also, so like Ezreal's not gonna be able to attack in. Come on, Doom Beast. Doom. Alright, so Nightfall make a Daybreak card. I think we'd rather Daybreak make a Nightfall card. I'm using some mana. Alright, Doom Beast. Hell Cascade. I don't think they'll really have any Nexus healing, right? Like, Double Get Excited should be able to just get the job done, I think. Alright. The, the the only card that I could think of that we have to play around, kind of, is uh, like the four mana right, so you know, the four mana deny that's in Shirima. That card. Gangplank says one e. All right, what we got? Okay, love the Sentinel. We're gonna send Ezzy back and send Get Excited back. And what do we think about Mystic Shot? I do like the Mystic Shot can take out their one drop that like sits back and pings my Nexus. That card annoying. So we'll keep Mystic Shot. Can a spirit fight to the death? Thinking I'll learn soon. He started without me. Well. That's rude. For silver I huh. for gold I listen. Now not so rude. I kinda like that we're keeping them from attacking. And now we get this 3-3 three, three fearsome. You know, it doesn't have one damage on it, doesn't get parlayed. Or make it rained. I never... I do want to prioritize getting rid of this thing. Because, again, it's free Nexus damage. I want them to have to spend cards like that Warning Shot if they want to do Nexus damage. I don't want them getting any free Nexus damage. I'm not setting up, I'm not helping out my Doom Beast, I'm not helping out my Catalog of Regrets. Oh, this is Ezzy. Go 
never ask. You're between me and glory. No free Nexus damage. Alright, so my plan is catalog into Unspeakable Horror. Oh, well, that card's good. Yeah, the Horror takes down the Spray Fin. Looks like they're finally going to start getting free Nexus damage. Um, I, no, I would not say this is considered a burn deck, but it does have a lot of qualities of a burn deck. I mean, it, it has a lot of burn cards in it. But a burn decks are, are more singularly minded decks. So Dwani is a good card. I pull the strings. Stand and fight. I was thinking I probably should have led with Vile Feast. I am shocked they went this though. It's going to let me keep my Burgeoning Sentinel alive? That is surprising. Does that mean more Mega Rains? Probably. I should probably be Vile Feasting first. They're going to respond to Vile Feast with Mega Rain. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. We must all make sacrifices. I'd rather make a Snackrifice. Um, Unspeakable Horror has been great. Doom Beast and Cloven Way. So I can go Vile Feast the Monkey, then play Cloven Way, stun Sejuani. We got a lot of attackers in. Not as many attackers anymore. You dare. I'm not greedy, but my friends though. No, I think I'm gonna wait till next round and try to keep them from attacking with the Cloven Way. of assuming that they'll play something before attacking. Alright, who's the go hard deck now? Safety. Yeah, Yordle Grifter's good. I don't, know if, I don't know if I'm supposed to take the cat instead of unspeakable horror. So these two cards are my cards. Cards from my deck. My cards are probably awesome to nab, I would assume. Third Mega Rain. Oh, okay. Not exactly what I was expecting. A little worse than the third Mega Rain. Alright, let's go 
bump him down to nine. Six drop. Here's him. All right, so they're at eight. That six. Make that four. And only casting the mystic shot. Not casting these so that we create Mystic Shot. We need Mystic Shots, now we have four. We can finish the job. So if they don't cast that warning shot, you know, like I needed that extra point of damage from the overwhelm. If they don't cast that warning shot. And they have this one health there, then they're at nine, and that's more difficult for me. Hopefully. They, they again, they took one of my cards. Oh, they took a Vile Feast from me. Alright, well, good game. That has the drain. So what would we have gotten if I would have played those before? We would have gotten... Chase Stalker and Clovenway. Wouldn't exactly help. Yeah, they had some good nabs. GG's. I'm not sure if I would have unloaded that. We would have gotten two extra damage, but then we may have, you know, then we may have made unspeak. You know, then there's a good chance we're making unspeakable horror instead of Mystic Shot for like our free card. Um, and then if that's the case, then uh, you know, then we wouldn't have. We still would not have won. Hello. I. What are we playing against, Maokai? So, aloof, aloof travelers? I kind of don't like Go Hard. But, you know, this puts the Hexite Crystal in the deck and gives me something early. This can go find the Hexite Crystal. This replace, you know, Unspeakable Horror replaces itself. Yeah, so this is going to be like aloof travelers, Maokai. I'm guessing. Nagakabura sends her blessing. The breath takes, the waters give. I move forward. I feel like unspeakable horror on one of these is a trap. Like I'd try that, they they glimpse beyond. The Isles will bloom again. All right, do I have to aftershock plus unspeakable horror this Maokai? It's a good amount of Nexus damage I'm getting rid of. The sea is too shallow a grave. Me or dark. Give them room to spread their leaves. Okay, it wasn't a trap. No glimpse beyond. Uh, so for Hexite Crystal, a. Down to ten. Protect our grove. Down to eight. 
Eight. It's a lot, a lot of tossing between those two. Twenty out I basically just have to, you know, aftershock get excited, mystic shot. That's like my only hope. Losing most of our deck here. Oh, that's that's a good play. I guess we can go hard for a while. So they're gonna have basically just Maokai left in their deck. And I'm basically just gonna have Gohard left in my deck. Puts them down to nine. It has them toss a lot. Like this, this will have them. Okay, so they already toss. Two, four. Never mind. They're already tossing their entire deck. Never mind. I don't need to block that thing. Just, just in case. Let's block this thing. Yeah. So all they have left are two Maokais in their deck. Oh, Malachi's gonna reheal these things. Right. Oh, that's a good card against Packer Bags. 
So they have one card we don't know about and two Maokais. And I have a whole bunch of Gohards. Okay, is this... What speed is this? Burst speed? That's annoying. I guess the reason to... Hmm. I guess the reason to play... Or to block... Would have yeah, been to kind of put, force that out of their hand. Oh, they're going to heal another two with this thing. So they'll have one blocker for, like, these two fearsome attackers. Right, so, like, theoretically, like, a Lee should hit them. That's just round start, right? Yeah, it's not summon in round start. That's just round start. Yeah, so these fearsome should take them out, because we would probably draw a Gohard here. We know that card's Maokai. We can kill this fearsome blocker. And then, yeah. Now we got him. A bite was all it took. Two and one. Is that is that Poppy? We have a new Poppy skin? Yes, we do. Alright, well, we're going to be using that next for our Poppy Elise deck. Um, but this looks like a good hand. I could even see keeping Aftershock because of Poppy, right? Like, you you have to be able to kill Poppy. And this can this can do it. I don't think it's really even that bad to keep that card. I don't think that's been... An, it hasn't been announced as far as I know of, like, the, the next champions that will be coming to uh, Legends of Runeterra. Time trick, good card to go along with Fallen Feline. All right, I hope they don't have sharp sight. I guess I could wait till next round and try to play this Sentinel also. Doing this right here during combat so that if if the Teemo does die, you know, like we get the buff, but we're not I'm not letting them like play another blocker first. Right now, the Teemo can't block if they have sharp sight. They could block, but I don't know if they want to make that trade. If they have sharp sight. Our deck has been kind of running out of cards. We do kind of rely on that catalog, but it's been very successful at burning people out. I guess not. It would be a pretty good static shock deck. Ooh, go hard. Go hard's also good. Armed and ready. Naga Kabura sends her blessing. Hmm. From all the regions we are one. Yeah, it is too bad there's no void region. A bit of void region would be pretty cool. By her will. Giving them the opportunity to play first, because if they play Poppy, we have to be able to kill Poppy. Which, oh, I guess because of Mayor, they can still play Poppy, can't they? Oh, that would be bad if they do. Hmm. I guess... I guess it is what it is. Slip through my paws, Hopefully not. They already had two Teemos, right? They're not going to have a Poppy also, right? Because I did want to put that Gohard back in the deck before I draw again.
no reason to play the time trick right now. We can wait till next round and have more information about what we have in hand and also be able to enable Doom Beast. So Vile Feast. Man, this card's This card's great against me. Great against Gohard. Oh. Gohard, please. Man, okay, Unspeakable Horror is good. Ezreal's good. Mmm. It's too greedy looking for Gohard. Yeah, that's too greedy. They've had Rangers resolve this whole time. That's interesting. <laughs> this card was perfect, this Yordle Ranger. Man, was that card good. Hmm. And now getting really punished for not killing Teemo. Oh, sorry. I I meant sharp sight. I guess I said the word Rangers Resolve. My my bad. Hmm. That was my first card. Cause I attacked. Oh man. Oh man. What am I doing? There's a good chance that cost me the game. Very good chance of that. Yordle Ranger All-Star. Because it's actually been really difficult for us to level up Ezreal. We don't have the... Uh, really, the card draw to level up Ezreal, to be honest. We have noticed that. So I could see Station Archivist helping out. Man, I needed that Doom Beast. That would put me at 9. All right, two and two. Unlucky. All right, Thresher really and Soul for our last one. I think we kind of really need to find. I, mean, I don't know. Maybe the Ezreal's good. I think we really have to find Catalog here. I think that we're gonna need those extra cards. I think that without catalog we don't really... like it's gonna be tough. So I want to mulligan looking for catalog. This also is a good 1-2 uh, start though. I like this. Good curve. Get some good pressure on them because that's what we need. We need... we're gonna need pressure too. No, no despair in this deck. Yeah, just, this could be this definitely could be a good despair deck. I could definitely see that. I think Station Archivist though, still over the Doom Beast would be really nice. The 
I would like that. <laughs> Aftershock, also, that, that's a clutch one to get because they should be playing the Targon's Peak, you would expect. That was a hush. Yeah. We must all make sacrifices. I mean, I could also pass and then attack, but might as well play this. So if I kill that thing, they're gonna have seven mana next round. Like, like let's say I kill that thing, then attack. I'm attacking for eight. Make a new Mystic shot. about playing a catalog over a spider okay i was gonna say but then we wouldn't level up um elise but now we're not gonna level up elise anyway all right our other mystic shot was fleeting Obliterates a lot of enemies there. There's nothing to fear. Got a lot of time tricks. You dare go look for some more burn spells. So we, we make two more copies of these things. I guess we'll just do Aftershock. The thing about Aftershock is it's slow speed. But the, the problem with Get Excited is then then we have to like, you know, discard something here for Get Excited, and then we're gonna have to discard multiple other things for Get Excited. This is a lot of burn though. Like catalog is awesome. When we have catalog, it's awesome. And really showing off the power of catalog here in this game. Just 
Just one at a time. Nice little burn deck though to finish out they could finish out games pretty quickly. I think this is a good deck. You know, like I said, F Dap Dapos the uh built this deck and played it, played it in the seasonal tournament and went uh six and three with it. And yeah, I think it was a good deck, but it could definitely run out of cards if you you know you really are relying on the catalog. Uh that's like your only card draw. And so that's why I was saying that I think that we I could definitely see playing um, some station archivists in here to kind of get you some, you know, get you, you know, do you need that other go hard or do you need another burn spell? Do you need a time trick? You know, like all that kind of stuff. How you can find more of them with the station archivist. The do the drain from the doom beast was really nice though. You know, it was. But with that being said, you would expect that station archivist could at least do two damage most of the time. You know, finding mystic shot or something like that, or you know, could do more damage. I definitely liked, uh, you know, the the two. Sentinels. Burgeoning Sentinel, Buru Sentinel. I liked them quite a bit. Fallen Feline, though, actually, maybe not so much. Maybe this is a card that could maybe this is a card that could be replaced. It is a one man two one, so it's not that bad, but we never saw Hexite Crystal. It's gonna be pretty difficult to find Hexite Crystal with just the three time tricks looking for them. Um But yeah, we didn't we we did really, really struggle leveling up Ezreal, uh, for sure. Um but, you know, it's because our, our burn spells are going upstairs, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, Delphine says this is a burn deck I can respect. Um, yeah, this is this is that. Uh, if we want to level up Ezreal, there is the Drain 2. Yeah, somebody said maybe the Drain 2. Um, Withering Mist to level up Ezreal. That is an option. I think I would rather just go with, what for one less mana, um, also had and draw a card and play Static Shocks. That could also target the Nexus. Um, I, I could definitely see playing a couple of static shocks in here to get you that you know get you that extra card. There wasn't really anything that too much underperformed. I loved Unspeakable Horror. That card was awesome. I kind of think the Fallen Feline was maybe the biggest underperformer. But then, do you miss you know like do you need that one drop? Put put extra pressure on them. I don't know. I don't know because besides. If you're not getting Hexite Crystal, which we you know we never saw a single time in those five games, if you're not, we're just talking about a vanilla two one for one, which is really uh, poor. You know, it's it's not not a good card. It's not a good card to draw late, also of course, and everything. So maybe replace Doom Beast and Fallen Feline and get like two Static Shocks for extra card draw, and then Station Archivist. Maybe it add it adds onto the curve, right? Like we're taking a one and a three and make it a three and a four. So it does raise your curve just a little bit, but it would give us extra card advantage. We'd be able to help dig for go hard e easier with station archivist. And then we'd also be able to have a little bit extra card draw with the static shocks and static shock would be, would go a long ways towards leveling up Ezreal. Cause imagine if we actually could level up Ezreal, how much better all these burn spells to the Nexus would be. So those are, uh, those are maybe, you know, a couple things to try out. I think I would I would try this out first and see if it's too expensive. I wouldn't expect it to be too expensive, um, but I would I'd want to try that out like that. All right, so so give that a try. Uh, but I liked it. I think this was a good catalog deck and a good uh, a good low to the ground deck, good go hard deck, and these sentinels really performed well. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of these changes and just the deck in general. This is a good one to try out if you're uh, you know, a fan of these champions and, and looking for something like this. Because like I said, Dapos, who made the deck, did play it in the seasonal tournament and did well. So we know it's doing good in Master's Rank. All right, but that's it for Ezreal Elise. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.